Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to SBCs to Pele on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. And today, with episode 3, we've got a pretty big episode. We've got the biggest pack so far, I believe, we've managed to get in the whole series, and that's going to be a free 50k pack. And you guys can see in the background, we're actually doing a very, very cheap school builder challenge, and this is the quad SBC from one of the advanced SBCs. I'm doing a lot of them right now because they're very cheap and they get some good rewards. You get 45k packs, 50k packs, 25k packs, 35k packs. You just generally get some very good rewards, and all of these cost under about 10,000 coins. So this team was very cheap, I believe it was like 5 or 6k, and gets me a 25k pack. That's not too bad because these packs you can al almost always make coins back. Even if you're spending like 10k on the SBC, you'll normally be able to make around 8 to 9,000 coins, even with a really bad pack back from what you get. Because even someone like Gomez, he goes for about 1,500 coins, and we get a few decent players there. Silver's off and Sulfur. For a decent amount too but I want you guys to leave comments down below on what you think would improve this series because now this is the third episode I've had a lot of different comments recently saying things that could potentially be improved in the series and I want you guys to tell me on this video right here what you think can be improved do you want to see every single SBC that I do and every single pack I get do you just want to see the better ones do you just want to see maybe the packs do you want to see everything I do really showing you the prices like I'm doing right now with the whole team's complete as we do do the 10 nations hybrid in the background right there very very cheap one getting me a 25k pack do you want to see all the price I pay for the different players there and also after each pack do you want to see everyone selling on do you want to see my transfer list I'm not too sure so leave comments down below it really does help me out and help me improve the series because I want to bring kind of the episodes that you want to see to this to this series right here not just the stuff that I'm editing I want you guys to kind of get what you want when it comes to the episodes so if you want to see me selling everything on I want obviously to put that in the series so I'm not too sure so leave any comments down below but in the background you guys can see I am doing the crazy eight score builder challenge and I think this is the last if not the second last uh, score builder challenge in this particular particular section that I am completing and it does get me a 25k pack for completing the whole set but this one here is very cheap it's like four or five thousand coins and you guys can go and check down in the in the description you will see a link to footbin and that's going to show you all of the cheapest ways of completing all the SBCs on FIFA 17 and that's very very useful but you guys can see there that actually gets me a decent pack there a two red gold players pack and they're actually really good because you can get some good players in them and they're very very cheap to get and it also does complete the whole hybrid nations SBC getting me a 25k pack and five thousand coins and this is one of the cheapest SBCs you can do. It's about 20k, gets you a load of 25k packs and some really good rewards. But in the 25k pack right there, end up getting Jorginho. Not the best, but considering it is a very, very cheap SBC, I'm getting a decent reward though. I can make some good coins from it. You guys can see 64,367 coins in the top left corner. And obviously we'll be selling all the packs we get here. That's going to be pushing me up, getting me a really good amount of coins. And that's what I'm talking about. Do you guys want to see like after each SBC that I've done? Do you want to see my transfer list and see what I've managed to sell on? See how many coins I've been able to make? Do you just want to see that maybe at the end of the episode? See the total amount of coins we get and maybe compare that with the amount we started with? I'm not too sure. So leave any comments down below because obviously, as I said, I do want to improve this series and bring you guys what you want to see but uh, we are going to be doing the Spain school builder challenge this is I believe the second to last one in the playing abroad SBC which we'll be completing in this episode that's what gets me a 50k pack and you guys can see this one is very very cheap you guys can go and copy the same teams I'm using if you want or as I said you can go and check out footbin and you can do them pretty cheaply on there and uh, yeah, this actually gets me a 35k pack. It cost me around eight or 9,000 coins. And that is not too bad at all. You get some really good rewards. I think the playing abroad SBC is probably my favourite. And as you see in the background, we actually go on and get an informed bug style. I believe it's how you pronounce his name. The Austrian striker there from Schalke. That's not too bad at all. He doesn't really sell for anything, but I'm not going to complain because it's an inform. And even if I quick sell that card, that's going to make me profit from what I spent on that SBC. And I get a load of other players in that pack. I get some silvers who sell for a good amount because they're needed for SBCs. I get a load of gold cards. I get a load of contracts, I get consumables, I get fitness cards, I get healing cards, position modifiers, they all really do sell on for a good amount of coins. And then to complete the playing abroad SBC that gets me a 50k pack, I went and did the France score better challenge and you guys can see in the background, this one was pretty cheap, I went and used Will of Oggy, I also used Untep and uh, Kevin Gomero to complete the whole score better challenge with the French players and then I converted Thiago up to an attack midfielder and this gets me a rare gold pack and that is a 25k pack. Uh, full of rare items so you get some good consumables a lot of fitness cards things like that that do sell on for a good amount 3,000 coins as well is not too bad and you guys can see in the background this is going to be getting me a pretty good reward I end up getting Jordan Henson an 82 rated player and I do actually have one more SBC to do before completing the whole playing abroad school builder challenge because I did do the Germany SBC. I believe in the first episode we get Henderson Schmelzer and also a Brazilian centre-back who did end up selling on for a good amount of coins. And you guys can see the Italy SBC, pretty cheap, 
Other than the Italian players, I used Giuseppe Rossi, converted him down from striker to attacking midfield, and then I ended up using Vasquez and also Zaza. And that one is not too expensive. You guys can see the majority of the players are under a thousand coins, other than a few of those Italians. But uh, again, a very, very easy one to do, and it gets me a jumbo premium goal pack. That is a 15k pack and also a thousand coins. And obviously, completing that does complete the whole playing abroad school builder challenge, and that's going to be getting me a really good pack. And you guys will see that in just a minute. We get 50 k pack and a 5,000 coins and also obviously the 15k pack for completing the Italy SBC. So as you guys do see the packs in the background, I'm just going to be quickly talking about the uh, the future of this series really because as I have said in the past, I'm going, to, I'm going to be uploading this every three days. The next episode I believe is going to be out in two days because I'm actually going to France for my birthday which is going to last like two weeks or so when I'm going to be in France. I'll still have lots of videos that are coming out, hopefully double uploads uh, on the weekends, things like that. Video every single day, especially with foot birthday. Uh, but so I will probably be uploading this series every two days for the next week or so just because I have a lot of episodes of it already like pre-recorded and I want to schedule them, get, get ahead of time really. Then I can maybe do some live episodes and things like that where I live stream it. So so I'm not too sure on that. Leave any comments down below, any suggestions on what could improve the series, what you'd like to see added to the series, anything else. As said in the video, lots of different things could potentially be improved, so let me know what you think. We get Mursaka though in the 50k back, not too good, but leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.